Thanks everybody and a big welcome today. Today we're, we're really excited to announce a new major partnership and a new partner of the Melbourne Storm. I'm pleased to announce Car Sales will be joining us as our new Jersey sleeve partner for the next two years. Car Sales is a neighbour of ours here at Gosh's Paddocks. It's a couple of Cam Munster barrels over the, over the park there from here in the Melbourne precinct. Uh, just like the Melbourne Storm, Car Sales were born in 1997 and ever since then in their relatively short history They've been extremely successful. Uh, from a marketplace perspective, online car sales with automotive, marine and also motorcycles, there's no doubt that car sales is the biggest and the best in the business when it comes to an online marketplace. We're delighted and thrilled to welcome Cam McIntyre, CEO of Car Sales. Kelly and Ellie who are here today from the marketing and sponsorship team. Welcome to the Melbourne Storm family. Uh, we're really excited about this partnership and what we can do to continue to create and capture value for car sales and to meet their business and marketing objectives over the next two years. I'll now hand it over to Craig, who's uh, I'm sure in the market for a new Suzuki on uh, carsales.com.au. Craig, yeah, for, the, for his uh, press comments head of the game tomorrow night. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, mate. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, a little bit of both actually. Like I say, we lacked a bit of polish last week, but we lacked a little bit of urgency in the in the critical moments. So that's an area that we need to to be better at. But certainly, um, yeah, we had a couple of chances, especially in the last two weeks, to, to score tries, and we haven't quite nailed it. So yeah, there's a couple of things there we've worked on pretty hard this week. Great. What do you what do you think will get the guys over the line and give more time, just a bit more time on the field together, or is it? Um, oh yeah, I. I you know, I think it is probably, obviously, you know, playing together obviously adds to your combinations and, you know, getting to know each other better and getting to know instinctively what he's going to do in this situation, you know. So that, that's a little bit of that, but having said that, you know, a lot of these guys have played together as well, you know, so for a, you know, a fair, fair while. So, like I say, it's just that those, you know, a little bit of execution, but also realising that when the critical moments are there, you, know, you need to grit your teeth and and, uh, and make the plays. Uh, the front players obviously are coming off a win. Yeah. So that'll be something that they've been working hard for. What do you expect from? Yeah, well, obviously they had a really good win last week and they've got a couple of um, you know important players coming back in Haas and uh, Lodge, you know, so they'll obviously add you know, a lot to their team as well. So. Um, yeah, they were very impressive there last week, especially their last 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, so I imagine they'll be looking to start where they finished off last week. So, um, uh, yeah, we, we, we know we're never going to get an easy game against the Broncos. So, um, you know, it's, our guys are looking forward, though, to playing at home, especially, you know. Um, obviously, we played, you know, South in the, in the first round here and, you know, the crowd, you know, were were great, you know, they were very appreciative, we were very appreciative that we could play at home for the first time in I don't know how long, so um, I'm sure our guys are looking, you know, looking forward to playing at home again tomorrow night. The Fords? Um, yeah, yeah, reasonably happy, I think, but, you know, they're in the same boat as everybody else, you know, to be quite honest, um, especially, you know, those when the crucial moments come, you know, we just need to make sure we ice them or um, perhaps put a little bit more effort at the stages. You know, we've been putting, I think the last two weeks, you know, we've, our effort area has mostly for 98% of the game been great. But when those couple of moments have come where, you know, you're, this is going to, it can make or break you, know, we just need to be a little bit more urgent, just a little bit more uh, aggressive in, in, in those moments. Oh yeah, I think yeah. Again, yeah, I don't think I get into them every week, but um, every now and then. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm sort of part of it too. What, you know, my I've got a role to play too. So, just those couple of things we were talking about, you know, we need to probably, you know, teach that a little bit better or teach that a little bit differently, so we all know exactly where we're at. So you know, we're not just tossing on the players. You know, the coaching staff and um, you know all our staff um, are aware that you know we all need to. 
probably do things a little bit differently or teach a little bit differently or, you know, again, practice things a little bit more than some other things. So, yeah, we're, we're, all, we're all in it together. So, um, you yeah, know, we'll, we'll take, you know, I'll take more, more blame than the players. Like I say, I just need to, um, you know, be better how, um, how we do things during the week. He said it almost hurt him to see you need to do that. It should be more on the players. Is it, is it uh, a really more connected group? You know, you've got that back and forth. Yeah, uh, again, like as I said, you know, like you know, I don't want to keep bringing it up, and you guys don't want to keep bringing it up, but you know, to lose a player like Cameron, you know, that's uh, there's some things there that he does, as as I've said, that sometimes you don't realise he's doing them, you know. So we're just trying to make up a little bit for, for that at the moment, and uh, we need different different people to step up, and um, you know, I'm one of those those people as well. So at the end of the day, it's we're, we're all in, in, in this together. But having said that, it's not, you know, it's not. As if we're, it's not panic stations. You know, we've we've played South, Penrith, and Parramatta, which you know a lot of people think will be in the four. Um, we've played two of those games away. Um, we've had one win and got beat in the last two minutes in the other two. So, like I say, we're doing some things well as, as well. It's just those, as I said, those critical moments, those little little areas where we need to be better with our execution. Um, and like I say, that, that's up to me to make sure we practice that, that train and get it right so we're a chance to get it right in the game. Um, I was going to say, I understand like Justin Ollum was quite disappointed, obviously, in decision-making, I guess, at the yeah. end of that game. And yeah. What have you made of his form? He seems to be you know, making a lot of metres. Oh, no, he's, he's doing a whole, a whole heap of good things, you know. Um, he's, you know, like he's typical Justin. He, he, he's aggressive with everything he does and, um, you know, and... I must say he's probably one of the, the quickest learners that you know I've coached as well. You know, so um, yeah, so you know we, we really rely on Justin with um, with his knowledge and you know what he learns out of a game or what he learns out of a situation. So um, again, you know, he, last week's gone now. You know, and he just needs to make sure he's ready to go and, and get his job done this week. And um, you know, we're all got in support him, and you know we're all supported each other. So um, we just need to. Put on the park tomorrow night. Yeah, well, that, that, that's a real good question. You know, and I, I don't know whether he would have been in this week, but he was going to play sort of half, three quarters of a game last week because you know he's had a very, very limited preparation. He's had calf injury and then a hamstring injury, so. Uh, but you know he's back to full training now. But you know that they got those guys gone, you know, went to Townsville and then basically got off the plane and got back on again and come back. So that's not good preparation for a game. And then the, the next thing that happens is they're not allowed to train with us. So the only time he's trained with us all week is today, which is you know obviously a very minimal se session. So it's really hard to put a guy in with that that's had the pre-season he's had and he hasn't played a game yet. So he would have been right in the reckoning if if he if things would, had went to a plan where he would have played like last week and then had a full week's training. You know, he was going to be right in the picture, but that, that hasn't happened. So at the end of the day, we've got to take you know, our circumstance into consideration and um, you know, hopefully he can get a, a full week in um, next week and then we'll see what happens from there. Because I don't think our, our Queensland, you know, our Queensland Cup players will be playing for a few weeks by the sound of it, so um, yeah, we, we just need to go on. Uh, he needs to train well and you know and get back into that full train, and then and then we'll go from there. Could they get a run with the New South Wales Cup side, or it's not that easy? Uh, I don't think it's quite that easy. I, I don't think we've actually gone down that um, that track, Mel. You know, but um, you know, depending on how how long this is going to go, uh, you know, we, we might have to have a look at that. Um, but yeah, I'm sure there'll be some roadblocks there somewhere. But um, but you know, it's certainly something that to have a look at. We need our players. You know, a lot of as we you know we said after last year. You know, a lot of our younger players you know have um, really suffered last year because they didn't play any footy at all. You know, because the Queensland Cup and New South Wales Cup, you know, they didn't run their competition. So you know, just hopefully that doesn't happen again this year. And it's a couple of weeks, and then you know our, our younger players and. Um, our guys just outside the 17, you know, get back in and get in some uh, match practice. Craig, respectfully, without, without asking about your future, does it hurt to have your integrity questioned after still so long that you've had in the game, as in the 
uh, like it, it got personal. It, it, um, yeah, it, it hurt, and like I say, to be quite honest, um, it hurt because it's not true. You know, I don't, I don't see that I coach, you know, people to go out and maim other players. You know, that, that's certainly not the case. So, yeah. Also got some other um, players coming back from injury. How, is it, how important is it to strengthen the squad, especially after a couple of tough games to start the season? Yeah, well, yeah. We obviously like Harry back, and we like Dale back, and we like Branko back, and you know, there's a few guys out there. But you know, that's that, that's what happens to all teams. You know, all teams, um, you know, go through a um, a stage where you know you've got key players out. But you know, as I said, I've been really happy with the effort overall. Um, and again, just. You know, a couple of key moments where we just haven't sort of turned up where we we should have turned up. So um, yeah, but like I say, you know, it'll it'll um, it'll be you know like that you know a bit later in the season as well or, or whatever. But you know, we we just like hopefully we get those guys back and um, all the other guys stay fit and you know um, hopefully we can stay stay competitive.